Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Said and in today's video I'm gonna touch the NFT subject. So stick to the end of the video and enjoy. So as I explained in my last video about the crypto currencies, we can do the same thing for uh, the NFT market. For instance, you can extract all the NFT prices and show them in your JSON file. This is called web scraping, as I explained in my last video, so check it out. In that video, I explained how we can extract all the cryptocurrency prices, volume, circulating supply, everything from the CoinMarketCap website. And we can do that for all the pages in this website. So we are going to do the same for this uh, NFT page that we have right here. So as you can see, the link, our root address changed. We have now in the NFT collections. And here you can see all the information about the NFTs that we are going to extract. So as you know, NFTs has been really <laughs> like glowing right now. They are shining. They are rising to, to the top. I mean, so many people are getting rich from NFTs and that's good. I mean, yeah, why not? So this is a new technology and you can use it for anything that you want. But we are smarter than that and we, we need to come up with some other ideas to make money or actually we can do the same and like sell NFTs. I already have some NFTs and those are doing well, but that's not, not, not really fun for me. I need something else. I need action. I need something that makes me money every day. Those NFTs make you money, but basically the whole thing is to flip NFTs. Basically you get some. You get whitelisted and you buy like you mint it and then you can make money after selling it or hold it for your future like after some point there it will like airdrop something and you can get it and sell that airdrop it's the whole process for itself and i'm gonna have some videos about those but today we are gonna write a web scraper and use it to extract all the information and in my next video i'm gonna explain how you can sell it on rapid api or turn it into a bot and uh, like advertise based on that information that you're providing to your users it's gonna be fun so stick to the end subscribe and smash the like button okay let's get into it so as you can see we are gonna have the same process right here and in today's video i'm gonna show you something else that you can use and it's really cool you know so in Chrome, you can like right click and view the page source. Okay. And in here you can search every single tag you want. So if, for instance, uh, like, I don't know, um, let's see what we have here. So moon brights, moon bears, I mean, moon bears. All right. All right. We have the tag like text right here and you can see that we have the website we have the collection itself image source anything that you want can be found here but there's a mis like problem right here that we like faced in my last video too so basically when you want to extract all the information about everything you can't do it in a one go like code so you need to load all the data before you can scrape it right for instance, right here, when I, when I inspect, I can see that we have the same thing for like the NFT section of this website. We don't have these parts, right? And when we scroll down, we can see that those like elements are loaded and the data is filled. Like, as you can see, there's nothing and then it comes up. So we need to use a package that can load the javascript data that is provided to us before we can scrape it right so for that i'm gonna use requests underline html python library and it's really good and i enjoyed using it so the other thing that i'm gonna mention there is this uh, robots.txt link that you can go and see all the parts of this website that you are scraping to see what you can scrape right you need to know so the user agents that you can use are every user agent for instance you can use like chrome firefox anything you want basically this star means that you can use it all 
and they allow you to scrape everything but they allow you to use these things okay you can do cryptocurrency social only on-chain analysis wallets rating price estimates so on-chain is basically the data on the blockchain itself and uh, that's really good i mean you can use that and people are making money by just analyzing that on-chain data and there is like uh i guess there was like this sentiment uh i don't remember the name of the website i'm gonna explain in my next videos yeah so all right we are gonna have these tr tags i mean the rows of the table so for each of these rows we are gonna have some elements inside as we can see so each of these elements are gonna be extracted based on our code and as you can see one of these like right here i can't show it because yeah like right here you have 10,000 assets of this nft so this nft actually has 10,000 uh, like i said it wrong so this collection of nfts has 10,000 nfts inside it and you can like see it right here and when you want to extract this text it's basically really simple you just uh nothing i'm gonna show you so let's go inside the code as I said in my last video, you should check it out. Basically, it's a half an hour video and this one is really short. Basically, I'm gonna show you the same process that I did in there. So we are gonna have the root address right here, the collections, and the session is gonna start right here. And we have this NFT scrape function. And I'm gonna tell it to like print, we are scraping NFTs and insert all the pages that we're gonna uh, extract so this page actually has all right 23 pages all right so I'm gonna do that right here and add all the pages and append these addresses that I build right here to this array and then go through all the pages scrape the page you know, and to get based on the session that we started get the page render it Basically, we need timeout in this one because this one actually was tricky. You you can't actually basically because there are like uh, pictures, these icons of NFTs, like in the left side that I showed. This can take a while to load based on your network. And uh, I added this 30, 30 seconds based on I ex based on experience, and it worked for the thirty second. And uh, the T body is actually the table that I'm selecting. So basically, dot find rhtml dot find means that find the table in that page that you scraped, and go find the rows. So T tr means that the row inside that table, and add it to this rows array. Okay. So and then we are gonna go inside this loop, and for each of these rows, select the columns, right? And the, this D means the data that we are getting. This is an array of data. And I'm gonna check the data, if there is any data in that row or not. For one of the columns is enough. And if there is, I'm gonna extract the rank, the image, the name, the network that this NFT is on. For instance, this is like Ethereum or something like that. The price, the market cap, the floor price. For instance, the floor price means that uh, what's the lowest price of that NFT collection? Okay, so there is like one NFT that is uh, being trade, traded like in, I don't know, 0.2 in Ethereum, something like that. You can check it out. The average price, the sales, assets, owners, and owners percent. So yeah, the, at the end, I'm gonna append the data that we gather and return the data. After that, I'm gonna save, save it to the JSON file that we have right here and same as before i'm gonna use the main function to do the same thing and scrape the data based on the function that i showed you right here and at the end i'm gonna print down so i already did that uh, because i don't want to take much time and if you just run it run the nft scraper it will run print the pages that it's gonna be like scrape and at the end it's gonna like give us this nfts json file so basically it's one thing the requirements involve these two but this is not actually required i just brought it to show you that's the basic uh, library that is this one is using and this one 
request underline HTML. I use this one because it can load the J JavaScript section of the websites. And basically all the websites are these days are using JavaScript to load the websites. I mean, not all of them, but some of them are using Ajax. But yeah, there is like these techniques that you can use. And at the end, I'm gonna have this NFT that JSON file. So I am gonna have the rank, the image, the name of the collection, the network, the price, the market cap, the floor price, the average price, the sales, assets, owners, owners percent. This one is just one collection and it's gonna go to the next row. And in the next row, we have the rank two image, same as before. So as you can see, we have these backslash N means that go one line on the line under the uh, element that you are like ha you have and like write like negative or something you can delete these basically so it's not really hard you can i guess it was yeah you should look it up the code like search for these backslash n and delete those or like extract the uh, string after these backslash ends and uh, yeah you can see all the coins are extracted you have them all right here so let me check yeah so the last rank is uh, 2196 that's it so yeah this is gonna be on my github page and I'm gonna provide the link in the description below and there are some other links if you want you can check, check, check them out those links are basically some affiliate things and basically some money comes to me if you go sign up and use their platforms for instance I guess I added coinbase yeah I added the coinbase or something I'm gonna show you how you can use these in like APIs or bots and how you can actually make money from these information that we gather so if you, so there are some ways for instance you can sell the uh, information in an API or in a bot right or train an AI I have some videos about those too so check my channel and you can find like how you can generate uh, multiple NFTs based on one AI NFT generated that uh, I provided the link and yeah so the other one is how you can turn them into APIs but I'm gonna do the same for this right uh, and I'm gonna show you how you can do it for just this project and actually Web scraping is not just for cryptocurrencies. You can use it for anything you want. For instance, scrape weather, news, politics, news, I mean, anything, and analyze the data. It's really powerful. I mean, so many of these platforms that you see out there are using these techniques to gather their data. And it's really important. For instance, there are lots of like bots that are scraping like Twitter information. For instance, the tweeted, uh, like text that uh, people tweet they extract that analyze it for instance extract uh, some hashtags or uh, some other information for instance the symbols and like ETH BTC and count them average them do some analysis based on those and sell the data this is really cool so this is it I'm gonna post the link in the description Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and smash the like button. And yeah, see you next time.